kufunga kuna saidia hata kumwili wako wakati umefunga in fact huwa mwili wako huwa mwili wako huwa una unakuwa una, una, una unatengenezwa yale yote imekuwa ni ya shetani yale yote imekuwa madani ya, ya tubo yako yale yote imekuwa ikusubua yote huwa inatoka wakati unafunga i have experienced that and i have so many experiences when i when i when i fast like three, four, seven days the way the lord reads me ninapata ya kuwa mwili wangu unakuwa ni mwingine unasikia kwenye nilikia nasikia uchungu sisikii tena maana hata saa ile umefungwa mwili una, na unakunywa tu maji mwili unaweza ukitoka uchafu na unakuwa wa kutengenezeka
above all names the name that has power over principalities and darkness the name that you are given Oh, 
voice unto Jesus and worship the Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We sing your name, O oh God. We sing your name, O oh Lord Jesus. We lift your name, O oh God. We worship you and you alone, O oh Father. It is because of you that we are here today, O oh Lord Jesus. It is because of you that we have the strength to stand before you, O oh God. It is because of your blood, O oh Lord Jesus. It is because of what you did on the cross, O oh Lord God. Oh Jesus, we worship you and you alone. Jesus, we lift your name. Jesus, we lift your name. Jesus, we exalt you above all other names. Exalt you above all, O oh God. For you have been exalted by God himself. As you sit on the right hand side of the Father. Exalted above all creation. Exalted above all creation. Jesus, I thank you. And I bless your name for your love, O oh God. For your love, O oh Father. We thank you and we bless your holy name. We glorify your holy name. If you could just give a mighty hand clap unto Jesus. A clap offering unto the Lord. Tembea na Yesu, tembea na Yesu, tembea na Yesu. Haya, tutembe sasa. Tembea na Yesu, tembea na Yesu, tembea na Yesu. Tembea, 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 tembea na Yesu. Welcome each other to the house. Tembea na Yesu, tembea na Yesu, tembea na Yesu. Greet your neighbor in the house of the Lord. Hey, Tembea <laughs> Come on, hey! My coffee are you, tell me. My coffee are you, my coffee are you. Show me how we get it, get it, cause yes, hey, 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 hey. Tell me how I know, yes, hey. Tell me how I know, yes, hey. Ah, 
Jesus, 
kama dia mana tunaimba to Jesus and a shout of praise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
kuhusu kufunga na kuhusu kuomba. Wakati Mungu aliweka hii uh, bade na mamzigo ndani ya, ya ya baba wetu wa kiroho ama mchungaji wetu ilikuwa si kwa file yeye alikuwa ametaka tuombe. Lakini ni kwa file roho alikuwa ameweka himizo ndani yake ya kwamba ni kanisa for it to, sta, to stand. Hapa kwa hii kanisa dio isimame na iweze kutum, kufu, uh, kur, uh, kutimiza kusudi la Mwenyezi Mungu katika uh, umu ito ni, kwa, ni lazima tuwe watu wa kufunga na kuomba na ndio wakati akawa akisema ya kwamba tutakuwa tukifuga one week wiki moja ama juma moja kwa mwezi na imekuwa ni wiki imetusaidia kwa gu sana nimewacha niseme kifi yangu imekuwa ikini, ikinisaidia sababu wakati ilianza na nilikuwa ni wakuweza wa kukuja na kuwa wakali nikiomba waka, na wale wengine na tukakuwa tukitumainia Mungu atakuwa katika ile kanisa lize. Tulikuwa tunakuja na tunaomba na Mungu anateda maajabu. Na nataka kusema ya kwamba hiyo maombi imenisaidia. Imenipeleka kiwango kingine kimaombi. Na ndio nilikuwa naambia dada mwingine jana nikamwambia vile nilijipanda nilijipanta nikiwa muombezi nikiwa kiongozi wa waombezi nikiwa kiongozi wa maombi sikujua na sikujua ilianza aje na nikawa nikimwambia <laughs> siku moja niliitwa na elda wekesa nikiwa tukiwa tena wengi wenyu wamjui tena tulitoka mahali ngine panaitwa tena nikiwa young person nikiwa kwa youth akasema kwa vi, watu walikuwa waenda wameenda mazishi ya mama mwingine alikuwa amekufa nyaururu Pastor Dieda na watu wote watu kwa wengi tulikuwa watu kama kumina. na sasa wale tumebaki dada mmoja akaambiwa aogose worship mimi nikaambiwa uko intercession lakini kuna yule alikuwa aogose aku amefika nikasimama na nikaanza kusema mimi nitaoba fida mimi naonaga fulani anaoba na nikaambia Mungu unisaidie na nikaanza kuomba nikaomba ah uh, elewekesa akasema sasa sababu mwenye alikuwa na anaongoza ana amekuja uh, washa tumpatie lakini akasema ya kwamba nimesikia nimebarikiwa nimesikia vizuri ametuogosa vizuri huyu dada he nikaenda nikaambia god if i can pray na niwe nimpongezwe nitaendelea na kuomba that is how i started then mama ochenga akakuja ni muobezi akaanza kuniambia tutakuwa tukiomba tukimaliza tuki kuacha kanisa tunaomba and then I think she imparted me a spirit of prayer in me. And I started praying at Kawa Tunaomba. Yeah, yeah, Sunday, Mimi, Sunday. Yes, in the church. So that is how I started. But be, there before, Nani Kawa, Mutua Kujua Kufunga. Nikiwa Ushago Sikwa Najua, Tunafuga, Nani Kiwa, Ata, Mari Kugina Kama, Ulkalama, Nyahuru. Kufuga, Nini Kuwa Najua, Tininaweza Kufuga. Like Sikwe Lewa, Nikufuga, Aji. So that is when I joined the Crisco, I got a praying church, a fasting church, a church that can seek God. And I can say, 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 Nikaenda nikasem nikapata my sister kona wa, na wadada wenye wana, wanaomba na akasema wa, mmoja akawa ni my age si age wa my sister na ni friend ya my sister so akatoka kuwa friend yake wa, wa kutebea akawa ni wangu tukaenda karura kufunga sasa tumeenda kufunga huko hakuna maji ha, ha, ni mto mchafu na mimi sijajua si kukaa bila kukula bila kukunya maji Tukaeda, tukafuga. My friend, I was, I felt as if I'm dying. Nina jaribu kutebea sina, nina sukumwa. Jitahidi tu. Kuenda kuwaba kwa muti siwezi. Muda, mdada naniabia, aki jitahidi tu. Ananishika mkono, ananisukuma, tunaenda mahali. Jukalila ilikuwa ni kefu. Sasa diyo utoke kwa kefu na panda. So, mi akanini, two days. The third day, nikamwabia nimewezwa. Hatuna pesa, kube kuna chai na 
pick with the other cave, the other side. Ya, ya mtu. Akaenda huko akanibaia kachai akaniletea nikapata gofu. Nikakunya na nikaobaiba na tukaenda. That is how I started fasting. Yangu ilikuwa gumu hivyo. But uh, after that nikaanza kidogo kidogo ku fast daily uh, twice per week. Nikapatana na Rois ana uh, na amekuwa kwa kidisco before na amejua kufuga na niambia tutakuwa tukifuga once per week. Na tukawa na siku hili anafunga na mini nafuga. Tunaoba jion lakini sipa moja kithi yake. That is how I started. Na nataka kuongea kuhusu kufuga. Sijui ni wangapi kati yetu about how wafungi. Wakati tuna, there, is, there is this call that we fast. It is a week of prayer and fasting. Sijui ni wangapi wanafunga na sijui ni wangapi hawafungi. Na sitaki kujua ni wangapi wanafunga ama hawafungi. Ile kitu ni kuhapa kukwabia ni kuamba. Kama haufungi, unaweza kufunga. Nikikufudisha ya kuamba kulifiligana fila ya loho mtakatifu atatusaidia kusoma na kuelewa. Nataka ni kuambie kufunga ata yesu mwenyewe ya alifunga. Na yesu alifunga 40 days. Lakini hiyo ya yesu, hatu taanza na hiyo ya yesu. Nataka kukusaidia wewe dada. Nataka ni kusaidia wewe dugu ya kuamba. Unaweza kufunga. Uwanze ya aje. Uwanze ya kuamba. Unakulaga maybe madasibiri ya subuhi na chai, kula moja na chai. Na uamini ya kwa bayo ni kufuga umefuga na wanze kumtumaini ya mungu. Uende siku hiyo ingine, wa, the, the next week tunafunga ama the next month. Funga asubuhi yote usikule breakfast, lakini kunywa maji. Because it is good for your health. Kunywa maji, jisaidie, eh, yani, ah, oba na wabie mungu ni mefunga. Hata tu asubuhi mungu wale mana nataka ni kusikie na nitaka unipe muongozo. Iyo ingine funga lunch, lunch na asubuhi na lunch na uombe. Utaenda hivyo upate umeomba the whole siku yote umefunga mpaka six. Siku hiyo ingine umeenda umefunga. Uh, wiki hiyo ingine umeenda umefunga hata one day ama two days. January ilikuwa siku ya uh, imuaka. Ama the other miaka ziote tumekuwa ni ya kufunga January. Sijui ni wangapi wanafungaga hiyo januari. Sijui ni wangapi tunaendanga bele zake mungu tuombe. Sia tituitishe uh, zile vitu hatuna. Ni tuende tu bele ya mungu na tumuabie. Mungu sababu ni, ni mwaka mpia. Nataka ni kujue saidi ya file na kujua. Nataka ni some neno saidi ya file na risoma. Kwa hivyo, hivyo. Uh, nifyo tunaomba, tuna, na sana sana uki, ama mungu wakikusaidi hata uombe maitaji yako unaombea. Lakini sana sana januari na kuwaga ya wewe kujitoa kwa mungu, kujipeana kwa mungu. Akuogoze uo muaka kuligana na neno lake na kuligana na mapenzi yake. Alafu after that, ayo imegine yote mungu anakufuatisha akikubariki na ayo. Uh, tukiangalia tuone, tunafunga diyo tuweze kujua mapenzi ya mungu katika maisha yetu. Na tunafunga sasingi, uh, dio tuwe watu wa kunyenyekea miguuni mwa mungu. Tuwe ku, kunyenye, watu wa kunyenyekea uh, beleza mungu. Tukiangalia maisha kama ya Ezra, kama Ezra 8.21. Alitisha kufunga uh, there at the river Ahava, media kuna mtu, Ahava, that we might humble, uh, he said, then I proclaimed the fast there at the river Ahafa that we might humble ourselves before uh, the uh, God to seek from him the right way to us and to and to us and for our little ones and all the, 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 the our possessions. Unaona Ezra liomba dio wajue waweze kuwa nyenyekee bere zake mwenyezi mungu. Ndiyo wajue file watamtafuta mungu kuhusu maisha yao, kujia zao, kuhusu ya watoto wao, na hata juu ya, ya mahali zao. Kwa hivyo walikuwa watu wakunyenyekea. Maana walikuwa wanajua ya kuamba hii yote tukonayo. Hatuwezi dijiongoza, hatuwezi eneda na jiazira tunataka. Lasima tuombe mungu, hatusaidia kunyenyekea such that Hata hii yote tumepata, tujue file tutayatumia. Hawa watoto mungu wametupea, watakuwa na mnagani. I believe that is why Ezra alifunga. Na hiyo ingine ni, hiyo tumenena kuhuzu, kuhuzu 
mara mbili ya kufunga ya wale wenye wanaomba hiyo kidogo kidogo wanafunga hiyo kidogo kidogo tunaita pacho At, ama nusu nusu kufunga na kuna ile ya kufuga kabisa kuna wale wana uwezo wa kufunga siku mbili siku tatu kuna wale wana uwezo wa kufuga siku samba 14 na moja na hata 40 na tu we have uh, fasted 30 days in this church kuna wale for those that days they waliomba wali Uh, uh, full fasting kama few days kuna wale walioba the whole 30 days 6 to 6 kuna wale waliweza kuoba uh, pashu 6 to 6 uh, one week two weeks ifo ifo kulikana fida wewe uliomba uliomba na fida ulifunga yote Mungu alisikia maana Mungu ni Mungu wa upendo Mungu ni Mungu anatujali na anatuelewa tuelewa kulingana na udhaifu wetu but the main point is washa uwe mtu wa kufuga wale wagine wa kufunga maana ndio Mungu akasema tufuge ni kwa sababu kuna kile Mungu anataka tu a, 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 there is something ama there is a purpose for us uh, as God's people in this church that we must fulfill in this church we have to fulfill purposes of god in this church na lazima tutaifanya na kufunga maana hata kuna nguvu ambayo huwa zinatembea na zinatusuilia na tusipofunga watatuzoea na wawe tukiinuka wanaturudisha shini kwa hivyo kufunga na next time tukifuga jitolee hivyo nimekuonyesha na roho mtakatifu atatusaidia na tukiwa tunaomba na tukifunga hatuwezi bila roho mtakatifu lazima tualike roho mtakatifu atusaidie atupe mwogozo tufunge kuligana na mapenzi ya Mungu tusifuge tu sababu watu wengine wanafunga tusifuge sababu ni januari siku za kufuga tufunge sababu Mungu na roho mtakatifu tifu anatusaidia tufunge kulingana na mapenzi yake. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri sisi wote tuamue tutakuwa kanisa lenye litaoba, kanisa abaro litafunga. Na tukiangalia maisha ya Yesu, fida nilikuwa nawaandikia ya kwamba Yesu alikuwa muobezi na ageomba. Na kuna sometimes agetoka katikati ya wengine akaombe peke yake. Maana akipo askienda kuomba atasikia sauti ya Bwana. Ata Mungu atamuonekania mwenyewe. Kwa hivyo hata wewe saa ile unafunga, unafaa uwe na siku zako. Tuseme hata kama ni kwako. Uwe na wakati unaenda unanyamaza mbele za Mungu, ukimwambia Mungu ninafunga maana ninakujua ya kwamba una, wewe ni Mungu anafungua milango. Kulikana na vile wewe utamwambia na vile wewe utaomba. Na hii wiki tukiangalia waka, wakati Yesu alikuwa anaomba. Aliomba m- na, lazima agefunga na kuomba na kuna wakati age, wakati alifunga uh, alikuwa anataka kushagua the uh, aliomba because he was a prayerful uh, Christ uh, akitaka kushagua 12 disciples he really prayed na akaoba na akaambia Mungu ampe mwogozo na akawapata na akapata mwogozo na akajua ni nani kwa wote ni nani ni, ni nani a uh, nitachagua Mungu alimnenea na akamuonyesha kuna James kuna John kuna wote huyo na huyo wote akawapiki na wakajua hakukuja tu akasema leo me, mimi nikiangalia tu hivi naona sister Penina anakuja kanisa anafanya hivi ninatamchagua no aliomba na akapata akaaogozwa aka, aka, na hata sisi wakati tunataka kufanya jabu lolote lile tuseme unataka maybe you want to let, let me say you want to 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 you are praying for a job na umeomba na ume, na unataka job na unajua shetani always let, brings a substitute unaombea jo, ka, kasi atakuletea hii kazi na hii na ile lakini unaweza angalia upate ile iko na pesa nyingi lakini ni unaenda kufanya kwa ba. Unapata ile iko kina iko na nyingi lakini hao wote mko na wao ni wezi ni kugawana mnagawana. Kwa hivyo nafaa uombe Mungu akupe mwongozo ni nini ni, ni, gani ni ni kazi gani nataka. Wakati tulikuwa tunatumainia tuna Mungu for marriage na tunaomba na unasikia umeomba na umepata. Unapata brothers wote wamekuja wamekoka na wajaokoka. Wale wako na kazi kubwa na, na, na biashara kubwa na pesa nyingi. Sasa unakuwa confused. Then you go before the Lord and you pray. Nao wote hakuna maana ni substitutes of the enemy. Lakini ukitumainia Mungu na ushikirie Mungu na uombe na ufunge na utamazamie Mungu mwenyewe. Ye mwenyewe anakuja na anakuonyesha ni kwamba na anakupea 
signs na anakuambia this one he will be like this he will tell you this and he will speak like this sasa when he comes you have everything in your mind na akiongea na mkiongea na mki mki anza kuongea vile mtaongea atafika aongee ile yote Mungu wote alikuambia ama atafanya kitendo ile Mungu alikuwa amekuambia atafanya kwa hivyo it is good to seek God na ni vizuri kuomba na kuwa, na, na kusfunga. kufunga kunasaidia hata kumwili wako wakati umefunga in fact huwa mwili yako huwa mwili wako huwa una 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 unakuwa unatengenezwa yale yote imekuwa ni ya shetani yale yote imekuwa madani ya dani ya tubo yako yale yote imekuwa ikusubua yote huwa inatoka wakati unafunga i have experienced that and i have so many experiences when i when i when i fast like three, four, seven days the way the lord leads me ninapata ya kuwa mwili wangu unakuwa ni mwingine unasikia kwenye nilikia nasikia uchungu sisikii tena maana hata saa ile umefungwa mwili una, na unakunywa tu maji mwili unaanza ukitoka uchafu na unakuwa wa kutengenezeka ah tunaangalia yesu Wak, uh, kuna tuseme wakati unaomba kuna and that is why you saw how i, I led the, 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 the prayers on the wall tunaomba maombi different types of prayer tunaomba maombi ya kushukuru mungu tunaomba maombi ya ya ku, ya ku repent ya msamaha tunaomba maombi ya kuji consecration kujipeana mbele za Mungu akatutakaze kuna maobi ya kufunga na kufunga, kufunga na kufungua hiyo yote wakati tunaenda tunaenda mbele za Mungu tukiomba na ndio uliona lazima tushukuru Mungu kushukuru Mungu wakati unashukuru Mungu ina ni kuhumbi ni, ni kuomba ni maombi kuna wakati nafikaga mahali uwezi kuomba tena situations imekusaround mambo imekuwa magumu lakini ukienda mbele za Mungu Uh, una, unaanza kushukuru Mungu na unamwambia vile yeye ni mwaminifu yeye ni mtakatifu yeye ni kibilio yeye ni uwezo wako yeye ni nguvu zako unamwambia hayo yote unapata ya kuwa bashida zile zilikuwa sime simekufuata simeku sime sime simeisha na sime simekuwa rahisi na umeweza kutoboa ya maana kuna mengi ambao uh, ya yenye inatusumbua na ya, unajaribu kuiombea haishi na haikutoki haitoki lakini ukienda mbele za Mungu kimshukuru ya kwamba nilikuwa na katika kwa hii shida, shida kama hii na wewe kama Mungu uliniodolea na wewe kama Mungu ulinifanyia ukishukuru tu Mungu kitanja yale yote alimekufanyia mbele nilikuomba Bwana ukanijibu niliomba na hili fasi na ukatenda hii jambo nimekuja tena bado na hilo fasi na Mungu naomba unitendee na uka, uta, itakuwa a, atakuwa aki, a, atakufanya na atakuja akufanyie kulingana na mapenzi yako na yake na kulingana na vile wewe wapenda na hiyo maombi mingine kuna maombi ya intercession hiyo maombi ya intercession maombezi ni ya kuomba ukiombea wale wengine unaombea wale wengine unaomba juu ya wao and unapata kuna wakati ameambia certain brother ako na shida fulani na mshikana wawili watatu mnalilia Mungu mnaita Mungu juu yake na Mungu anatenda jambo hiyo ndio maombi ya intercession na ndio naonda tukisema we raise intercession praying for our families tunasimama in the gap tunasimama mwanya katika uh, katika uh, sababu ya jamii zetu unaweza simama mu, kwa mwanya sababu ya kanisa kama hili na uombe kuhusu kanisa uombe viongozi uombe wase wa kanisa uombe wa shirika wote hiyo ndio maombi ya, ya intercession na unaomba ukiamini na kwa imani na kupitia nguvu za roho mtakatifu ya kwamba Mungu atateda maajabu na hiyo tunaomba it is the book of the first Thessalonians 17 a uh, five ina ina inaongea kuom a uh, first the saronian 17 a uh, 517 okay 
tunaomba na tuna Biblia inatuambia that kila wakati tuombe tukishukuru Mungu. Hiyo yote tunazima tuombe na tuombeane. Ndio unasikia ukiomba ni vizuri uwe na hiyo prayer of intercession. Usiombe tu yako, usiombe tu ile yako. Kulilia kazi yako watoto wangu, jamii yako. Enda bere za Mungu kililia hata kanisa, hata nation. Now that is how our apostle ametufundisha na alitufundisha na fili ameendelea kutufundisha na it's my prayer that wakati anafundisha tuwe makini maana wengine wetu tulisimama na tuliweza kufika hapo sababu ya fili alitufunza wakati wa workers retreat alikuwa anaenda anatufundisha kuomba anatufundisha kulilia kulilia Mungu kwa niamba ya wengine na tukawa tunaomba na tukawa waombezi na kanisa la Kirisko limekuwa la kanisa la maombezi limekuwa likiombea nishi na likawa hata madeti mamlaka ya kuombea nishi kuombea kanisa la Bwana na kuombea hata jamii na likuombea hata uh, the tribes of this nation kwa hivyo wakati unaona Kirisko tunaomba usiseme na hilo kanisa linapanda kuomba sana it is because we laid our foundation ya maombi juu ya ile apostle aliweka kwa hivyo lazima sisi na asi tuendelee fili alitufikisha tuendelee tukiomba na tuombe kanisa tuombe wenzetu tuombe jamii zetu tuombe watoto wetu tuombe vijana tu, kama kanisa kwa hivyo ni ja, ni ni, uh, ni ni mwito wa kila mshirika wa kanisa la Kristo popote ulipo na, papa, na, pole, na pale pote uendapo uwe muobesi ukijua ya kwamba uliitwa Kristo uwe muobesi kama awa, awa papa mwenye alikuwa muobesi anaiwishi mungempata agesimama masaa saba tunaomba tu nyayo stadium kutoka asubuhi tunaomba hatushoki tunainiri tunasimama tunainama tunakaa bado anamesimama akihubiri akiomba kwa hivyo hata sisi washeni tuombe na ndio nikawaambia kwa hiyo wall we pray we pray for the spirit of prayer upon our rise to a what we kuomba maybe i can give a testimony and i gave it some uh, few uh, i think few months ago nikawaambia ya kwamba kwenye wakati unaomba shetani hananga nafasi ya kuattack kwenye kwenye mwenye unaombea ama ni kama hii yenye tunaombea kuna dada mwenye ali confess in the kwa media akasema kazi yake ilikuwa ni prostitute prostitution na akawa kazi yake ilikuwa anaendea majuju anashika wazee wale wako na pesa wako na mambo makuu ya kwamba yeye hakuwa na ana taka mwanume mwenye atampea leza na 100,000 alikuwa anataka wanaume wenye atatoa pesa sasa hiyo na anatumia majuju but saa hii amebadilika na wakati alikuja ku nini ku, kuulizwa akasema bona uli, uli, tu, ulikuwa unaona wangapi akasema akaulizwa kuna wale ambao ulikuwa na unawaadea wa, majuji na wapati akasema wacha nikuambie yule yote mwenye anaobeagwa hawezi aliabiwa na huyo kwenye alikuwa anaenda kwa bia akanomwambia huyu umeleta wacha tu wachana na yeye amezingirwa na ukuta ya maombi na na, na ukimuombe na, na wa, 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 unaona wanaombewa uwezi ukawapata So nika, from that time nikaanza kusema kweli let me not give up wacha ni si give up na kwa maombi kuombea huyu dugu kuombea huyu dada kuombea huyu mtoto kuombea hata ili kanisa kuombea hata hii nichi Ma, kube maombi yangu inaweka ukuta kube maombi yangu inasaidia kuchetani hawezi fikia kwa hivyo hata sisi ja, brethren wacha tusimame na maombi tuobeja mizetu hata huyo mtoto mwenye umeombea miaka na miaka na habadiliki hata huyo dugu umeombea miaka na miaka miaka na habadiliki hata hii nishi ambao na, na leaders ambao tumeombea hawabadiliki na ni wakai kama watabadilika wacheni tuwaobe maana siku moja Mungu atawabadilisha na atasimama na wao uh, kuna hii maombi ya supplication yao hiyo maombi ya uh, 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 inakuwa Philippians 4:16 pale inasema ya kwamba I, uh, that uh, the lord will supply our needs according to the riches that are in glory by Jesus Christ hiyo ukienda mbele za Mungu uombe ile unataka Mungu ni mwaminifu atakubariki nayo hata atakujibu kwa hivyo don't give up endelea na kuomba na na kutumainia Mungu uh, tukiangalia watu wale waliomba na kufunga tuone akina Nehemiah tuone akina Esther tuone akina 
akina Moses tuone wale wote walifunga ukisoma the year history na maombi ile walioba akina Daniel akina uh, akina Daniel uangalie maombi yale walioba baadaye tunaonaga ushindi kwa hivyo hata sisi sijui ni nini hiyo umeombea miaka mimi nayo na nimeombea na sijafika mwisho wa kuombea maana Mungu alisema atatebea nasi mpaka mwisho wa dahari ikiwa atatebea nami mwisho mkapa, mpaka mwisho wa dahari bila hiyo yenye naobea well and good bado nitaendelea na, kumtum, na kumtafuta na hata kuomba na kufunga maana si lazima nifuge juu ya hiyo jambo kuna mambo mingi ile Mungu anaweza fanya sijui kama ushaiye damu mbele za Mungu kufunga na kuomba maybe you want to pray for this church upate siku sinaisha bado hujamaliza mambo ma, maana mambo ni mingi ile Mungu anataka uombe kwa hivyo let us give ourselves to the prayer and fasting hiyo ingine ni a prayer of worship and praise Uh, sijui uh, kuna wakati unaweza enda beleza umejaribu uombe umejaribu ufanye nini na bado umefuga na uwezi kuomba lakini ukienda beleza Mungu umefunga you are worshiping praising, praising the Lord unapata mambo ma, uh, nyibo sinajileta zenyewe unaiba hii ina, inakaa kama imekujibu vile ulikuwa naombea unaomba unaiba hii wibo ingine unapata inakupea raha ndani ya hiyo situation Una, Mungu analeta tena ingine worship song ama uh, praising song. Unapata ya kwaba ni kama imekupea gufu mpya tena ya kuendelea na hiyo yenye inakusubua. Kwa hivyo prayer uh, of praise and worship of uh, and of adoration inakusaidia. It is also a part of prayer. Na hiyo ingine a prayer of repentance and that is why we've been repenting on behalf of all of our, all our, of our nation repenting on behalf of our family members repenting on behalf of our own lives uh, repenting on behalf of our church because the bible says in the book of first chronicles uh 7:14 and my people who are called by my name humble themselves pray and seek my face and turn from the ifo ways then i will hear from heaven forgive their sin and heal their land yo that is why we were repenting when we repent god heals us not only healing the land of this nation the the, the land of this nation it, he always heals even our hearts our wounded hearts he heals our situations our families our marriages he heals our our businesses and also our our situations. Kwa hivyo, a prayer of repentance isije ikakosa katika mdomo wako kila wakati unaomba. Wacha uende mbele za Mungu maana the devil is always an accuser of the brethren in the book of Hebrews I think 12:10. And uh, 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 Revelation 12:10 anasema ya kwa yeye hii za nakiusa lazima ataenda na kitu moja mbele za Mwenyezi Mungu na na asema wewe sasa unaongea huyu anakuambia nini ana anasema anaoba nini na alitusi anakuambia nini na aliiba anasema nini hii za nakiusa lazima atakuwa accused so be, before even you do anything as in before after you worship after you praise after you thank God after you give him all the adoration go before the lord and repent any sin any yenye uja 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 yenye uja tubu yenye unajua na yenye hujui yenye umeftenda wewe na ile the, the omission ile the sin of omission hiyo ni ile yenye uliona mtu kusema ukweli amefanya dhambi na uwezi muambia you look at i remember there is a time we were here wakati kama we he elder so akatu akatuonyesha the way wa, watoto wa Eli walifanya dhambi na uh, baba yao hana shida hata hawauliza anawaangalia na masho hakusema kitu that is a sin of omission and after that that is when walijinifofu na mambo mabaya na wakati alisikia hakuna kitu kingine ni kukufa alikufa aliaguka na kiti na akakufa kwa hivyo tushunge tu sana kuna mambo unaona inatendeka husemi huobei huabii hao wenye wanafanya unajua mwingine anaweza fanya akifikiria anafanya mema anafanya mazuri lakini si vizuri hiyo ukijiangalia na itedeke na jambo baya itedeke it's a sin of omission kwa hivyo tafadhali uh, let us be a people of prayer kuna mahali biblia niliwaandikia Uh, tukasema ya kwamba he who uh, conceals his sin
Hatufai kufisha labi zetu tukiemda mbele za Mungu. Wacha tumwambie ukweli ya file tumetenda na file tume tunasikia ndani yetu sababu tulikosea to be to be, uh, si, to be sincere because kwa file alikuwa anatupenda akatoa mwana wake wa, wa, wa kodo na akakufa msalabani na dhabi, na damu yake na kifo chake kitakuwe kikatuweka huru na siku ya leo tuko huru na tunaweza kupitia hiyo damu yake tunaweza approach the throne of grace and mercy tunaweza approach ama ku kwa approach sijui ni kufanya ha ndio tunaweza karibia katika uh, kiti chake cha enzi tukutujio tupate hiyo neema tupate hiyo neema ya ya, kuende, ya kufanya mema ya kuishi na utakatifu ya kuishi kulingana na mapenzi ya Mungu kuishi kulingana na neno la Bwana na hata kutebea na utakatifu na wakati presbyter mtisi alikuwa alikuja hapa akasema iwe ni ombi letu kila asubuhi ya kwamba that you go before the Lord and you tell God I approach the throne of grace and mercy to obtain mercy to obtain grace for this day to overcome grace to pray grace to 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 to, read, to take hold of that who you have taken hold of my life this day kwa hivyo to to sipo he fisha the bizetu na tukiada bere za Mungu na tumwambie kusema ukweli tumekosea the way david did na ndio akawa the man after god's heart akufisha alikuwa anaenda bere za Mungu na mwamwambia kusema ukweli mimi nimekosea nimefanya hii na hii na natubu hapo kwa hapo kwa hivyo hata sisi tukienda uh, before god repenting that is a prayer of repentance na tusifishe what we said tukae at kama tunataka kushuka kota was the our dhabi wacha be to be sincere before god if you stole tell god niliiba na ninasikia kabisa ndani yangu nimehukumika mungu nisamehe god is faithful to forgive us he is just and faithful to forgive us first john chapter 1 verse 8 and 9 now if we say if we say that we have not sinned the truth is not in us and we take god as a liar kwa hivyo it is good that we repent Aniyo yigina ni ya kufunga uh, the prayer of uh, binding and loosing. Tunafaa wakati tumefunga tukioba wakati tunafaa tuwe na wakati hata wa kufungua kujifungua na kufunga hayo yenye inatusubua. Tukiangalia uh, mm, can't remember which book that says that we 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 loose and we bind is is Matthew I can't remember but kuna mahali biblia inasema tuombe tufunge tu, tufunge na tufungue tujifungue kwa hivyo wakati unaomba in the book of uh, uh, Isaiah 58 i think first 12 inasema uh, first yenye inasema ya kwamba wakati tunafunga na wakati tunaomba tuna tufung, tu, maybe we can read from the bible from Isaiah 58 Gabi Isaiah 58 first tutaanza first one ndio twende the bible says cry out loudly don't hold back raise your voice like a trumpet tell my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins uh, they seek me day after day and delight to know my ways like a nation that does does what is right and does not abandon the justice of their god they ask me for righteous judgments they delight in the nearness of god why have we fasted but you have not seen we have denied ourselves but you haven't noticed look you do you do as you please on the day of your fast and oppress all your workers for you fast contention and strife to strike fictitiously with feast you cannot fast today to make your foi huh? you cannot fast as you do today hoping to make your voice heard on high will the first i choose be like this a day for a person to deny himself to bow his head like a reed and to spread out sackcloth and, sh- and ashes will you call this a fast and a day acceptable to the lord isn't the first i choose to break the chains of wickedness to unite the ropes of the yoke to set the oppressed free and to fear off every yoke is it not the shell 
Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, to bring the poor and the homeless unto your house, to clothe the naked when you see him, and not to ignore your own flesh? Then your light, then your light will appear like the dawn, and your recovery will come quickly. Your righteousness will be, go before you, and the Lord's glory will be your God. Nine. At that time when you call, the Lord will answer. When you cry out, he will say, here I am. If you get rid of the yoke from those around you, the finger pointing and Mauritius speaking. And if you offer yourself to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted one, then your, your light will shine in the darkness and your night will be like noonday. The Lord will always lead you, satisfy you in a parched land and strengthen your bones. You will be like a watered garden, like a spring who, whose waters never run dry. Some of you will rebuild the ancient ruins. You will restore the foundations laid uh, lo long ago. You will be called the repairer of broken walls, the restorer of streets where people live. Praise the Lord. You are the first. You are the first. Mugu walinena kuyuhusu. Fa six dio yo tumesema ya kwaba tunafaa tufungu, tufunge na, tuf, na tu, tu, tuharibu minyororo yote ya muovu shetani ya bao imetufunga. Na ukifanya ayo yote, tutakuwa watu wa bao, tutatebea wenye tukohuru. Na watu wa bao, wata, 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 wata fulfill the purposes of God. Na tutakuwa watu wa kuitua, uh, uh, the rebuilders, the restorer, wenye waku, wakujenga tena, wenye wakurudisha, na watu wenye wata, wata wakuleta utukufu kwa buwana. Kwa hivyo, my prayer is that uh, as we continue in this prayer and fasting this year, trusting God to walk in victory, trusting God to be enlarged, being the year of enlargement, we trust God that we are not going to fast like any other day, any other year. We are going to be people at the end of the year and at the end of it all as Chris Kuwak. We are going to fulfill the purposes of God in this church. Tunaenda kutimisa mapenzi ya mungu. Tuliambiwa ya kwamba, hii kanisa mwenye lisema aliona kisima mbao kinatoka kinatua maji matakatifu ikienenda na inje. Na akasema ya kwamba, hii kanisa itakuwa ya kuleta uhuisho dani ya makanisa megine na watu wenye abawa kwa mahali hapa. Na ndiyo tunataka ni kwabia ya kwamba. Tukifunga siati, tunafunga, tujifurahishe. Tukifunga, hatufuge, tuonekane. Hatu, tukifunga, hatufungi, diyo tu, uh, tufurahishe pastor because ya lisema. Tulifunga kwa sababu ilikuwa ni kusudi na mwenyezi mungu. Na alikuwa anataka tutimize mapensi yake kama kanisa mahali hapa na kama uh, binafsi wewe kwa maisha yako because i believe sisi wote tunayo kusudi katika hili kanisa utasimama mbele zake Mwenyezi Mungu na akwambia nilikuleta katika ka, a praying church uliomba katika kanisa la kufunga ulifunga na wao na kama ulifunga na ukaomba ulifanya nini hiyo ndio maswali yenye tumekuwa tukijiuliza na tutuendelee na kujiuliza ya kwamba ni nini Mungu anataka tutimize katika hili kanisa wakati tunaomba na wakati tumeitwa kufuga tunataka kutimiza nini washa iwe ni ombi letu washa tusiobe tu jababu Mungu ameomba amesema tufunge na tukiongozwa kwa kuligana na fida tunaongozwa na yeyote yule anatuongoza wacha tuombe kuligana na fida tunaongozwa maana hatujui ni wapi Mungu ame Ame, ama, ame, anataka tufike, ye anajua na tukijiutoa na tujiashirie kwa mungu kimaombi ku, na kufunga, lazima mungu siku moja atatueka kama ta mahali, na watu wakuja waseme ya kwaba, unaona ilo kanisa Mungu anatembeaga kwa nguvu zake. Unaona hilo kanisa kuna uwepo wa Bwana. Na ndio sababu wakati huu ni wakati Mungu anataka tusome kuhusu kurudisha uwepo wa Bwana na utukufu wa Bwana katika hili madhambahu, katika hili kanisa. Na uwe pamoja na uwe mmoja wa wale watao wataupokea wata uwepo na utukufu but I experience the presence and the glory of God in this church. Kwa hivyo ni wewe uji, ujijue dani ya roho yako. Why am I in Kirisko Don home? What am I doing in Kirisko Don? Mugu nataka nifanya nini? Dio ni we moja wa wale abao watafikishwa katika pahari pasili. Pare abao I will dwell 
in the, in the, and uh, will dwell in the secret place and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Do you enjoy the goodness of the Lord in this church? Do you enjoy the, 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 bless, the blessings of the Lord in this church? The fruits of this church. Kwahivyo, it is my prayer. My time is gone and my time is over. And uh, I believe that is what God wanted. I had slit and so many things, but I think that is what the Lord wanted us to hear. And it is my prayer that even as we to napokea mwiri wa Kristu, to abi a mungumana yesu dikufa danietu. Na ukabemba yare yote shetani ya dikuwa metu wadikia katika msaraba. Naomba buwana ukanifanya muombezi. Naomba ukaniondore na ukanifungue. Pale nimewe, nisijaweza kuomba. Pale buwana sijaweza kukutafuta. Pale buwana sijaweza kukusikia mimi mwenyewe na masikio yangu. Maana wakati unafuga na unaomba utasikia buwana. Utamusikia na masikio yako mwenyewe. Utasikia his own voice na utakuja kuijua. Kwa hivyo let us, all of us, Go to the Lord and tell God, this is the new year. We want to work with you. We want to pray more than ever before. We want to fast. We want to hear and to know your voice. And uh, the Lord is faithful. The Lord is good. He is good to all those who love him and those who wait upon him. And as we get, boy, we humble ourselves before him. And we pray and we turn from our wicked ways. And we purpose to, walk, to align ourselves to his will and to his purposes. We are going to fulfill the purposes of God in this church and our and purposes of God in our own lives as individuals. Uh, my, as, as we were and as, as we were singing this morning to Kisema, usikanipite mwokozi, unaspo tsuru wegine usikanipite. Ata mimi nitasema to the same. Uambia mungu asika kubari akupitwe. Usikubali usipitwe na mungu wakati huu abawa nataka kuinua kanisa. Washa we among those that are up in the front line that will carry the presence of God and the glory of the Lord in this dispensation of the Holy Spirit and this time that the Lord wants to use the church. Be among the number. And you cannot be among the number if you are not a prayer person. So have a desire. Hunger for God. Hunger for prayers. And the Lord will bless you.